No, I haven't. What do you think about that? That's retarded. I mean, the government is saying they own us. Let me say bye to you during the break. We really appreciate uh, you joining us. An amazing lady standing up to Big Brother. Most people submit. They're telling people here in Austin they can't have neighbors over. That's right. We're all prisoners. The entire United States and Western world are being converted to a giant prison grid. I'm going to do a few more minutes here with Lisa Schneider. I talked to her during the break. She pretty much knows the neighbor who did it, but she doesn't want to get in a fracas with him. I warned her that this neighbor is going to now be watching. If one of her little kids is in the backyard for five minutes alone, they're going to claim it's abuse. It, I think you got to run this person to ground. you got to maybe counter sue them for false reports or something, or they're going to be hunting you with the CPS. Because for these little Stasi types, they're never wrong. They love the big state. They love what's happening. But uh, comment on that and then where all this is going. As you're being told, it's illegal in the freezing Michigan uh, Blue Northerns to let any, any neighbor kids come in and wait for the bus. Um, as an American that we are supposed to be living in the land of the free, I believe, truthfully, and all the other mothers do that are involved in this, is that the government should not be able to tell us who we can have watch our children. If we know our children are in a safe place, that's, I mean, the parents, it's the parents' right as, um, having these children, as a mother of these children, they know, they know they're in a safe place. <laughs> Second, um, as far as the neighbor, yeah, I just, we're, my husband and I are um, not, we just want this all to go away <laughs> and just hopefully they'll leave us alone and hopefully this will all come to an end. And I hope that the law does get changed because it's a terrible law and I hope no other mother has to go through what I've had to go through. Um, I do thank everyone for the support that they have given all of us and I don't take that for granted one, one for one minute, but... Um, this was a very sad situation, and it's hurt my children along with all the other children that are involved. And that's the most um, upsetting thing is whoever did this, if they were coming after any of us adults, that's one thing. But to hurt our children, that's horrid, horrid, horrid. Well, I, well, they started this in the last 20 years using a few bad examples of, of, of bad daycares. But there's nobody regulating the CPS who, again, is five times more likely to abuse children than, than any other group or even government itself. Right. So that so they have no business. That's the pot calling the the the, uh, the uh, kettle black here. But but notice, mothers and fathers know what a good daycare is. The CPS use the daycares as tattletale grounds to hunt for kids to CPS and take. And so when we let the CPS get into regulating daycares, they now have taken that over. And well, then now they're trying to say we can't even have our own homes or can't have neighbors over for church, right. for a Bible study. They're destroying the right of free association. They're muscling in. And the same thing, parents know what a good daycare is. We don't need the state. And parents know if their kid's allowed to go stay for 20 minutes in the foyer of a neighbor's house. That happened when I was a little kid. That's normal. My mom had neighbor kids over. Neighbors had me over. That is freedom. Right. And, and, and this is serious tyranny. Go ahead. Well, and also I'd like to say, all because the daycare is licensed does not mean that you know who is actually working. You don't know nothing about their background. You don't, you don't have dinner with them every night. You don't socialize with those people. Usually, you just send your kid to this licensed daycare that's licensed by the state. But who is actually really watching your children? That's right. Do you that know? means you've just paid protection money to the government. That's right. A neighbor who you know and trust is a lot better than some nameless school. Right. Exactly. And that was our other point that we were trying to make. At least they know. I mean, we have dinner together. We're with these people practically every day of the week. They know us. We know them. You put your kid in a daycare. You don't know them. You just hope that you know them. Well, this lets us know the mindset of the government bureaucrats. They believe you can't have neighbor kids over before they catch the school bus, even if the neighbor parents want them there. Right. They believe that someone owning their own property can't have 10 cars parked on their rural property to have Sunday dinner and prayer. They believe rabbis in Denver can't have 14 
of their uh, members over. They believe Buddhists can't have five of their friends over. They believe Amish can't sell watermelons without a license on the side of the road. They believe their God, and they're here to milk us and run our lives. And under this new greenhouse gas tax bill, it says unlimited power, home inspections, everything, and, and, the, and the colleges are churning out armies of control freaks who love ruling over people. We better get control of our country, and we better stand up and say no like you did. I salute right. your courage. Thank you. And any other mother that's in our situation, stand up for your rights because you're teaching your kids. My children came to me and said, I thank you, Mom, for standing up for us. And I believe that if my, child, my children were ever put in the situation that I was, I'm hoping that I have taught them that you stand up for the rights because you are an American and you do have the right. Well, I mean, in the Soviet Union, they let neighbor kids stay at neighbors' houses. This is worse than Maoist China, worse than Soviet Russia. Lisa Snyder, God bless you. We appreciate your courage. We'll watch this case as it develops. Godspeed. Thank you. What an amazing lady. Most people just roll over. The bureaucrats say, good, we own you now. You're our slaves. We'll come back, take your phone calls, get into the flu, the war, the new stimulus package. It's all coming up.